Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. At the Chrome Developer Summit last week, we shared updates on our efforts to strengthen the web. We're rethinking privacy from the ground up with alternatives to third-party cookies, like the Click Conversion Measurement API and the Trust Token APIs, adding powerful tools for building advanced apps, such as making progressive web apps more discoverable with Google Play Store listings, and making some key performance optimizations while bringing you the Web Vitals report, an open source tool that lets you query and visualize your Web Vitals metrics data in Google Analytics. Check out the Keynote Updates blog post or watch the sessions on the Google Chrome Developers YouTube channel, which you can get to in the YouTube description below, or by swiping up on Instagram. We announced that the December Pixel feature drop adds machine learning powered 3D mapping aided GPS corrections to Pixel 5 and Pixel 4a 5G, reducing wrong side of street occurrences in more than 3,850 cities by approximately 75%. These 3D mapping aided corrections will be rolled out to the rest of the Android 8 or later ecosystem in the next several weeks. Check out the post for all the details, including how to take advantage of this in your app by using the Fuse location provider. We've added Entity Extraction to the official MLKit lineup, allowing you to detect and locate entities from raw text and take action based upon those entities. Supported entities include address, date, time, email, flight number, and more. More info and a real-world example are on the post, along with details about MLKit Selfie Segmentation API, which is now available as part of our early access program. We've announced a new IDE for Apps Script, our development platform to automate and extend Google Workspace. The new IDE has a modern material design and contains productivity enhancements like code editor support for autocomplete and function folding, an improved debugging experience, real-time logs, and more. Check out the post to see all the ways the new IDE helps to improve your productivity. We announced version 1.0 of the integration test plugin for Flutter, a simpler way to test your Flutter apps that also supports Firebase Test Lab. This solves some of the problems of Flutter driver tests and presents a new foundation for integration testing on Flutter. Check out the post for a full guide on how to get started with the integration test plugin, run a test on Firebase Test Lab, and migrate your existing Flutter driver test. To make it even easier to build with Cloud Spanner, we're announcing the release of Autoscaler, an open source tool for Spanner that watches key utilization metrics from the Cloud Monitoring API and adds or removes nodes as needed based upon those metrics. More info on deployment options and how to get started are on the post. We announced a more streamlined approach to using BERT built entirely in TensorFlow. This solution makes both pre-trained encoders and the matching text pre-processing models available on TensorFlow Hub. BERT and other transformer encoder architectures have been very successful in natural language processing for computing vector space representations of text, and BERT and TensorFlow can now be run on text inputs with just a few lines of code. For all the details and two new tutorials to get you started, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. We'll be taking the next couple weeks off for the holidays, so see you next year. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, o'er the field we go, laughing all the way, ha <laughs> bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright, what fun it is to ride and sing a slang song tonight.